you, you shared an article today, actually, on, on LinkedIn, which Katie, Katie Barson, shout out to Katie, who's also in the studio today. Katie's a senior account director at Salesforce and works closely with Indeed. And her and I were talking about this article that you, you posted. It, it, you said it was a quote, a brand isn't a luxury, it's future cash flow. And then great reminder as companies are faced with difficult decisions related to tighten budgets, brand and performance marketing strategies and tactics are both important. And most important is to understand how doing both complements drives the effectiveness of the other. Just would love to hear your thoughts on, on that and why you share that. And yeah. Yes, a topic I'm quite passionate about. And that was a great quote that I pulled from this article that I thought was brilliant. Well, there's a couple of thoughts. And I think tech is one of the industries that really separates out brand from performance, which makes sense. A lot of tech companies grew first through performance marketing. And then brand comes in a little bit later. And it's something that I didn't feel in my prior experiences, one as a CMO, but it just wasn't very common even in the agency world with the clients that I work with to separate them out in such a way. As I had mentioned before, I don't look at brand in a silo. One of the downsides of looking at it in the brand versus performance is it's often pitted against each other, especially when it comes to budgets and determining the budget. It's easy to quickly go to performance marketing that's able to prove an immediate sales payoff versus brand, which has a much longer term effect. One of the things that we have done on this front is begin using you know commercial mix modeling as well as pixels on the sites to really show and prove that that brand also does drive performance. And I think the language in itself, brand versus performance, makes it feel like brand doesn't also <laughs> perform or drive the business. And so it just makes it hard as a brand marketer to be put up against something that has is a lot easier to prove those short-term sales. And so what we have found through our commercial mix modeling, and I'm sure every you know CMO or marketer listening to this has, has seen this, that together both are a lot stronger. We've We've had experience where I'll, I'll just give an example when we launched in Germany or pretty early on in our days there I was meeting with the head of sales there and he said Jennifer you've got to help me my sales team calls on potential clients and they hang up the phone they don't know who indeed is they don't care about indeed can you help me with that <laughs> we um, ended up working with this amazing um, Germany agency there to get to a super highly relevant campaign in Germany that has been quite successful. We've overtaken the who was the primary brand in wow. Germany. And now Frank will say now everybody calls us they want to talk to Indeed, which is just an example. That's not performance marketing, but it just really solidifies what I'm saying. Then when you get a sales call, whether it's a sales call or you know, an ad that's trying to get you to sign up, you know what it is, you know why you should care about it, it communicates the benefit. So I'm passionate about the importance of how both both of them working together creates a stronger out outcome. And then I'll also say for performance marketing, we've seen similar things that performance marketing also drives brand and it drives consideration, it drives awareness. And so it's really needs to be looked at as a full system. And, and you should think about it more as what is the role of communications? What are you trying to do? And then working together makes it a lot stronger versus a either or situation. This podcast is brought to you by Salesforce and the CMO Club. The CMO Club is a global community for senior marketing executives to come together, share ideas, and solve their toughest challenges in a collaborative and trusted environment with other marketing leaders. Salesforce and the CMO Club provide best-in-class programs, events, and a digital platform for marketing leaders to come together and be inspired like never before. Join our global community at thecmoclub.com.